This is Michael London, aka DJ Shadow, and this is my voiceover production. What's up? My name is Michael London, aka DJ Shadow, representing Montgomery to Gump and Full Effect, and I'm representing London to London Media, formerly SNA Entertainment. Or email me at London Voiceover. Roughly now, about 26 years. Actually, I got started um, right out of high school DJing. Went to a friend of mine's Doc Rock when I was overseas in Germany until I knew how to DJ. So I slightly embellished on the idea. And um, ended up DJing with him at a DYA dance. And it went from there on the DJing part. On the music side of it, um, I was doing production and basically I wanted to be, you know, producer and everything. Um, doing, mu- doing music, be on the stage, performing, and um, got involved in that point. I actually started SNA, Southern Network Association, because um, I feel there was a need in Montgomery to connect um, all the musicians, DJs, and different people involved in the music business together. Um, this is, was in 89, 90. And actually, what happened, Southern Network Association was a, um, supposed to be an organization of all the musicians, DJs, and things. And it kind of narrowed down to just the DJs, then it just narrowed down just to me, <laughs> since everybody was kind of involved with it. Um, after that point in time, um, I went to a convention called Jack the Rapper. I'm um, actually pushing one of our groups, one of the groups I was involved with, La Force, out there at AUM. And um, when I went to the conference, um, Jack the Rapper in Atlanta, I was lucky enough to meet people who introduced me to the business side of the business. And once they found out that I was on radio doing the overnights at WXBI, they were like, hey, you on radio? You play my record? Now I can talk to you, you're a commodity. But when I was trying to do my music for the group, they wouldn't listen to me. But once they found out I was on radio, they listened to me. I was like, aha, that be a commodity. And it started from there. Um, the record pool I started because I needed records. I couldn't get another record pool, so I started the record pool. I found other DJs that needed to get service, and that's how I started the record pool side of the game. Um, once I started the record pool and the DJs were getting service, then um, labels needed to promote to the DJs. But since I knew all the DJs, I could promote and do marketing towards them. And I start, and it grew from there, along with the studio. Um, I was blessed to start doing work in different projects. Um, Belmont Records with Prince, um, Tag Team, um, Death Row, The Chronic, when it first came out, just to give you a little bit of history. And I was fortunate enough to work a lot of big projects throughout the years, from uh, MCA, Warner Brother Universal, Mary J. Blige, all the way to Small Time Ballers, to um, Dirty when they were on Universal. And that's how I started. Um, the reason that I um, did my retirement from SNA because every few years you need to reinvent yourself. And one of the things I was noticing while I was doing good and actually on top of game, I wanted to make sure I could continue to be on top of game. And I noticed there was changes coming up in the industry. So I don't want to be um, in front of those changes, be um, ahead of the game as you want to say. And I've been fortunate in my career to, to do that with the record pool, with the promotion, with the whole company overall. So what I wanted to do was do a slight retirement to get a break because I was burnt out a little bit and then reinvent myself, which I was able to do. And I went to become an operation manager for a station, also working on the ad agency work and moving along from there. We'll be getting the gifts, you dig? Less Actually, it's a combination of different things. I'm a consultant for different people for various aspects of the music business from the radio side. I'm doing voiceover production work for a lot of different people, such as um, DJ Swift, DJ Scream, and, and, um, Fellow Bond Squad DJs, of course, um, DJ Dime Peace, and a lot of DJs around the country. Well, actually, now around the world, I'm actually in Europe and a few other countries doing their voiceover work. Um, cutting commercials for a lot of different clients, for radio stations and different um, corporations. Um, still DJing, doing a lot of special events. I've been blessed to do a lot of that and to do some small tours and things. Um, but right now, I have a company called London and London Media, and basically, I'm a consulting firm working on those different aspects from music production to radio and um, promotion and marketing. People, people might not know their names, but they were a big influence. I love Quincy Jones. I was blessed to meet. Um, who else had influence on me? Monica May. They used to be the um, program director over at Hot 105. A lot of these people were my mentors. James Belton is over at um, Clear Channel, WZHT, Hot 105. Um, DNA. Dean Jackson, these people worked at different labels, RCA, um, other major labels, but these people that helped me, mentored me, and continue to help me out years later. Jo- Geraldine Smith, who also works at HOT, um, she was, I'm going to explain that real quick, 
she wrote the letters that allowed me to get into the conventions when I was a part-timer at WXBI years, years ago. And I still buy her lunch to this day because that was very helpful for me to get into the game. Are you ready? The thing with Alabama, and actually it's one of the reasons why I actually started SNA was the fact that there was a lack of resources, like a lack of connection and things. And even now, even if people are kind of moving into the game, there's still a lack of business sense about how to do business. There's a, a lack of being trusted, meaning that the, the crab the crab in the barrel mentality, where everybody feels once I get a little bit, I need to leave everybody behind. And there's been a few instances when you had groups that were had a little bit of success. When I say a little bit, moving between 30,000 units, and they think they're superstars, not understanding that this is long term. Just because you make some quick money, it's, it's an up and down slope. And the people that you had to deal with to get to those stages, you had to deal with them again because you had to renew yourself every time you come out with a new project. And that's with the artists, that's with DJs, that's with people in radio stations, stores, and everything. So I think what's going to happen is that if everybody can work together to, towards the fact that we have to make money and cut out all the superstarness, that could actually be the true solution to the problem for Alabama. But until that time, everybody's still in that crab mentality of trying to get out and let me dog you out once I get to a certain level. Instead of like, hey, if I help you out and you blow up, that means it's two of us blowing up. Now I got another strong resource to use. But people don't see it like that. They feel like they have to be the man. They got to be the one that everybody deals with. But if you spread it out, that gives you more power. And that's actually been the key to my success. I've been fortunate with my interns and everybody who's worked with me. As they go out and do the thing, I make sure I try to help and support them. So now you got people such as Rick Rock doing his thing, Glenn Smith, um, Maximum, that's here. And many others that work through SNA and other connections that I have who are doing their thing. And that's a network. I can come to them and ask them for different things. I've got my resources that I use. So now we have a tree, a family, a circle of different individuals to count on for different things. If the groups in Alabama, the managers, the labels and things work in that same principle, then we can have growth in Alabama. All the interns, all of everybody used to work at SNA, Glenn Smith, Grace Brooks, um, Maxim, how girl Maxim on my man, Rico. Um, well, I'm going to get cussed out because I'm going to leave somebody out on this. Um, Rick Rock, Dooney Baby, uh, Stan the Rebel, what's up, man? California representing Zeta, um, and there's many, many, many more. Um, I still got to shout out Monica May for being a great mentor. James Belton, I have to shout out DNA and Dean Jackson, just, uh, just to name a few. Also, I want to shout out my man Wayne Watts, what's up? And I got to shout out uh, my godson, Quentin Butler, because you'd be surprised how children in your life can inspire you to move forward. In closing, I just want to say hopefully the business people in Alabama will take the time to learn the business and then understand the power of networking and the power of trying to help each other move forward. So if you were an artist, you want to help them DJs blow up. Because the bigger the DJs are and they supporting you, the bigger you become. DJs, if you see artists that are really trying to do and put it down, help blow up the artists. The problem is that we have people trying to cut each other all the time. So hopefully now they'll find out that there's a bigger plan set and get that little piece of the pie. That's worth it, get the whole piece of the pie. Artists, if you need a DJ that can hook it up for your mixtapes, get them drops and things, hit me up at getshadow at gmail.com. DJs, if you need drops. You can hear my drops all over the place with different mixtapes and everything like that. If you need drops and got some money, holler. Once again, get G-E-T, shadow, S-H-A-D-O-W at gmail.com. Hit me up. See what I can hook up, all right? Holla. What's up? This is Michael London, a.k.a. DJ Shadow, representing like this for London to London Media. Yo, representing with grade A. You know how we do it? Alabama, stand up. That's what's up. That's what's up. A.k.a. DJ Shadow. Obama Squad DJ.